happiness from hunger and hunger. A great saint who devoted her life to serving the poor, her celibate, and being, in fact, of being a Wakai killer, she never thought of that. And because of that, the church canonized her as a patron saint of the Catholic charities and also the third Franciscan order. We pray that imitating her zeal for, for, for the poor, recognizing Christ in the poor, we may also give our time, energy, serving those who are in need of us. Also, we continue praying for the, the souls of the faith departed, inscribed in the envelope in front of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are saying to hear the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to he, to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose gift of St. Elizabeth of Hagarath, recognized and re revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. a scroll in the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. It had writings on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to examine it. I shed many years, many tears, because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to examine it. One of the elders said to me, Do not weep. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed, enabling him to open the scroll with his seven seals. Then I saw standing in the midst of the throne and the four living creatures and the elders a lamb that seemed to have been slain. He has seven horns and seven eyes. These are the seven spirits of God sent out into the whole world. He came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he took it, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb. Each of the elders held a harp and gold bowls filled with incense which are the prayers of the Holy Ones. They sang a new hymn, Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain, and with your blood you purchased for God those from every tribe and tongue, people and nation. You made them a kingdom and priests for our God, and they will reign on earth. The word of the Lord. Your son, the lion, the lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. The lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The lamb has made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. 
Let them praise his name in a festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and honor. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. Your Lord has given us the kingdom of the priests to serve our God. Let the faithful exalt in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God in their throat is in the glory of all his faithful. Hallelujah. The Lord has given us the kingdom of the priests to serve us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus drew near Jerusalem, he saw the city and wept over it, saying, If this day you only knew what makes for peace, but now it is hidden from your eyes. For the days are coming upon you when your enemies will raise a parasite against you. They will encircle you and him you in all the all sides. They will smash you to the ground and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another within you because you did not recognize the time of your visitation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord. Praise Lord. You are most welcome to today's reflection as the tradition of the church every Thursday we pray for vocations vocation to marriage life or family life vocation to religious life we pray that in each vocation we struggle to be holy we struggle to be true Christians bearing with one another Jesus in the gospel today shakes tears. We are reflecting on the tears of Jesus. When he's nearing Jerusalem, he saw how people were stubborn, how people were so indifferent, insensible to his teaching, to their call of living her life, he wept. The tears of Jesus are tears of calling our attention to return to true sense of our Christian calling, Christian vocation. Jesus wept because he foresaw the destruction of Jerusalem. He foresaw the destruction of these people. But people were not even recognizing the princes of God amidst them. If we remember well, in the Bible Jesus wept thrice, three times. At the death of Lazarus, he wept bitterly because he had lost a friend. Then the second time he's here in Jerusalem, looking at the city, looking at the people, how they were living, he wept. The third time was on the cross. So for us Christians, we remember that every time we don't live accordingly, Jesus continued weeping to us us. Maybe as we are here, deep in me, deep in your heart, there are some things which are not of God. Jesus is weeping. The tears of Jesus are calling us to true repentance and conversion, recognizing the presence of God in our lives, recognizing the presence of God in this church, recognizing the presence of God in the sacraments we, we receive. Every time we receive Holy Communion, we say, Amen, I believe. Do we really practice the grace? Do we really put the grace of the sacrament in action? We have heard even the, the antiphon, hallelujah, say, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. We pray for this grace.
that our hearts may be softened today, recognizing Christ, recognizing the presence of, of God in the lives of others as St. Elizabeth of Hagare did, serving them with humility, serving them with, with love, serving them with that inner disposition. We pray that the tears of Jesus towards the city of Jerusalem may become a way for us to convert internally so that we become true instruments of his peace. Amen. As a Christian community of faith, firmly trusting in God, we present our petition to the Father for church leaders. May God always grant them charity and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For the world. May God offer hope for the future in uncertain and difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all who struggle with physical disabilities, may God's strength accompany them in their hardships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Holy Spirit guide us in our work together to make this community a welcoming and loving place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may God grant them eternal rest and joy in the presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our special petitions, let us offer them to the Lord in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, receive the prayers we offer today in gratitude and praise to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Elizabeth, 
be confirmed in the land of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your sins, you make your church fruitful with faith ever new, and offers sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in the mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. That with the blessed Virgin Mary Mother, the blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be for heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty oh Father, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, and I will be in Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
Gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us of each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. No. No. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that we who are renewed by this sacred mystery 
may follow the example of St. Elizabeth, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace as it ended.